am I up my own ass enough to do a vlog episode? There's this thing that happens to YouTube channels over time where if you've watched enough of them, you can actually see it happen. They start making different things. And sometimes it works out and sometimes it doesn't. The thing is, I think no matter what you do, eventually you're gonna get a wild hair to do it differently. And that's fine. I mean, great. It just doesn't always work. But I think it's important that we try something new because we need to make different things just to get it out of our heads, just so we can stop thinking about it. And I have a lot of stuff going on in my head at any given moment. And way too much of it is unusable for stuff you might normally see here. So on occasion, I'm gonna do something like This is where I've wanted to be ever since Sean started tweeting oranges. And I am in awe at the amount of work and effort and polish they've put in here. I don't even like all of it, but I can respect everything they've done. And the culture of the community is amazing. It's an entire group of people who feel vindicated for having faith in something they loved. And it keeps paying off. I admire the hell out of that dev team for pushing on through a hellstorm of negativity. And every once in a while, I can get a very, very small taste of what it's like to keep going forward when someone just shits all over whatever you're making. And it's really tempting to focus on these people and want to engage them, but really, probably, it's just better to ignore the trolls. Do you uh, commit to making yeah. sure that there's a no, peaceful wanna, transfer of power? We want to have get rid of the ballots, and you'll have a very trans. We'll have a very peaceful. There won't be a transfer, frankly. There'll be a continuation. Or not, you know. Sometimes ignoring them makes them worse. It's probably more situational. Really, you should just try to probably do what you feel is best at the moment and not give in to the temptation of being an anonymous internet dick. If your game is literally unplayable without a third-party tool, then you might need to make some major quality of life improvements. And speaking of quality of life improvements, you need meaningful content. Small narratives to give us a reason for power play and factions. Gameplay loops that complement each other instead of being wholly separate. You need alternatives to combat and mining. You need to make us feel like the things we do matter and the things that we earn make a difference. Right now, the only difference a fleet carrier makes is that I feel like I had enough credits to spend five billion of them. But buying it doesn't make me an integral part of the galaxy or change my experience at all. The opportunities it does offer of crashing a market or traveling to certain sections of the galaxy don't really mean a lot to me personally either. We don't have an actual economy to crash, and there's not going to be anything new in that sector anyway. Just the same geyser that's on every other planet. I think there's a difference between valid criticism and being a dick, though. I don't regret this. But this, I mean, and that's, and that's where we get to the question of, and, and everyone thinks, oh, poor baby and everything like that. It is a matter of trust. If you're not invited to the birthday party at this point, it is a matter of trust. Because what exactly do I have to do? I've put out a, I've put out a great series and that's, yeah, that is tuning my own horn. I put out a great series, maybe not the Anaconda. I could have done that one better. It was my first video. Mm. But realistically, you know, if you don't trust me at this point, if to even talk to me, fine. Okay. No, nothing. I don't want it. I don't want it. That's pride. It's not unfounded pride, but it's unfair. A lot of people liked my work in Elite. 
And I kept saying it's important for people's voices to be heard and then disregarding the people who would want me back there. I was wanted. I just wasn't wanted by the people I wanted to be wanted by. And a lot of people pointed it out. I didn't even ask. That's a bit presumptuous. But I can fix that part. The thing is, realistically, I can't not talk about Elite when we talk about space games or spaceships. It is a benchmark, at least. And I keep finding myself actively avoiding certain conversations or comparisons or friends just because I put up this hard line in my head. I don't talk about Elite anymore. I'm done. And that's pretty freaking dumb. I don't have to like everything in the game or agree how it's done, but I also don't have to avoid talking about it completely. And I'm not saying I'm going to do a whole other Elite series, but I don't have to make my life harder either if I have an idea down the road. Like, when will we be able to walk around our ships? How does that experience compare to other games? These are important questions to be asking. 